Even in all, welcome to, again, the most obvious, well, the second most obvious ambush attempt ever. This is uh, another example of where I think just people need to really understand that it's so flipping obvious that they're about to... Look, look, here he comes. Look at that dude running at us. He's thinking, oh, what should I do? Do I press this button to throw a grenade? Look, he even mellied. He was trying to throw a grenade. He was trying to... He was trying to do terrible things. And then for some reason, once I've got my ammo out, he shoots me. What a weirdo. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Ready? There we go. Shoots me. Very odd. Um, I'm fine with this because obviously it means we get to kill him. And it also nicely sets up my point of the day, which is learning how the stats system works. Look at how much damage he's putting on me here and look at my health. Look at that. Tanking him like a boss. And this is something that I think you need to really know about this game. Now this is what I spoke about in the last video, as my phone goes off, this is something I spoke about in the last video, basically what it is uh, talking about is how to properly set up your character really, because this is an MMO. So uh, we're going to look at that today. So it's not too much action, so enjoy the visuals of what you have here, and then we're going to show you some numbers and stats, but don't switch off because this actually will change your gaming experience entirely. So, look at that. I'm level 20, 20 something, I think 21 at this point, and look at how much health I've got there. Now this is, this is basically showing you that your firearms, stamina, and electronic skills are supremely important. So you need to understand how to set them up. But, number one, if it looks like a better module, it may not be. Let me give you what I mean by this. One of my items, I think it's my knee pads, is actually a low, it's that one, it's a lower level item. In fact, it's not that one, but anyway, it's a lower level item in terms of its armor score. So if you looked at that, you'd say the 232 performance pads are better than the 149 ceramic plate pads, okay? Obvious, right? Well, no, because those ceramic plates may have a firearms increase or they might have a skill power increase, electronics. Whereas what I'm looking to do is to get that stamina figure as high as possible. So number one, you have that ability to um, not just take it at face value, understand really what it's telling you. But there's more. The secondary or the major and minor attributes are also incredibly important. So I have a blue item knee pad, which represents 33% of all of my armor, it represents 20% of all of my health, and it represents, I believe, um, a 30% increase in ammo. But yet, when you look at the stats, you think it's crap. Oh, by the way, cock holder. <laughs> so, there's an item called a cock holder. Okay, CQC holder, whatever, whatever, whatever. It says cock holder in my mind. Anyway, so what you can do here, and this is something, again, I really would stress, you're probably going to have to spend most of your money on, is the recalibration station. This gives you the ability to change firearms, in this case, to science or to electronics or to stamina. So if I found, so here we go, we'll actually show this, I hope, I hope we've got the right footage. So look at this, I'm rolling it, it cost me 2000 to do it, so it's not exactly a lot, and I can change that firearm into stamina. So you see now the 164 armor is now plus 113 stamina. So if I now put that item on, as I hope I'm about to do, as I manage to remember to press the button, there we go. <laughs> we then come in here, so you see that I've changed that. So if I put on these new pads, look at that, I've gone up another thousand hit points in health. Okay, and that's the subtext of what we do. This re-rolling station is incredibly useful and important, okay, because it gives you the ability to re-roll incredibly important stats. For example, you can get a boring simple mod that has no slots for additional mods and you can roll it so that it gives you potentially a, a slot, okay? So incredibly important. That one there, so for example, the 232 performance pad there is all is 130 something extra electronics. When I've got the skill, I'm going to put that, re roll that into be 132 additional stamina, which means that would put me over 34, 33,000 at this point. So you're you getting that, hopefully, you're understanding that. So the armor skill, the armor number doesn't mean dick, the color doesn't mean dick. What is important is what additional factors and skills and major and minor attributes come with it. Okay, is that clear? I'll tell you why it's important, because some of these, are my, and, and I would just stress, most of these attributes can be re-rolled. So for example, assault rifle damage there could be turned into some machine gun damage. So you really do need to literally look at all of the bonuses. This is just the, the MMO player in me from the old Eve days who just understood the maths behind this, okay? Because it is just crunching numbers at the end of the day. 
you have to understand that, so for example, some of these additional ones there, so look, those Venture gloves are better than the 869 one, obviously, but they have 110 science, so actually they're worse. But a lot of people would just put those gloves on with no you know, kind of comprehension of what that means. For me, the most important thing you can do is have high health, okay? And I do stress that. I, had, I was useless at this game until I managed to figure out that actually, if you tank yourself, there's not a lot that can kill you. I don't think I've been downed once since I've done it. Oh, I lie, once against a very high level elite. But that's what I'm talking about, is that if you tank your character, you all of a sudden have a much higher survivability, okay? And that's against players and everything else. So highly, highly stress that this is what you should be doing. When you get loot, even if it's green, look at the additional stats. Because for another example here, so look, you, I can change health on kill, for example, into plus SMG damage, which is what I want, LMG damage and so on. So you have that ability to customize each item. It costs money to do this, but you know, every Dark Zone run we were doing last night was netting me 40,000 credits. So I could re-roll as much as I like. And this is definitely, definitely what I think has changed the game for me entirely. So for example, a sniper fit would be great. You could have as high, so as I've done here for, for health, you could do for firepower. So you could have a sniper rifle that hits for something like 50,000 points. And that's more than possible. It's just about tanking, well, it's just about setting up your character correctly. Okay, so hopefully that's clear. This has been something that I think unlocked the game for me incredibly. And um, for, you know, particularly when it comes to looking at equipment, I used to just throw it away if it didn't have a high number. And I was like, oh, if it's green, throwing that away. But one of my green items that is a mod that I plugged into my, um, my vest is, um, is basically giving me an additional 30, or is it 25, something like that, health, uh, stamina points, which represents a thousand to a half, one and a half thousand additional hit points. So you've got to kind of think that there's more to the numbers than makes sense, if that, if that makes any sense. The same is true of obviously the gun items as well. So you see here, you know, my stay at org is doing 13,000 DPS. Obviously plugging all, all the modules that we've done, it's obviously increased the clip size by almost 50% and so on. So this has done a huge amount of additional things here. Um, so I really would stress this is something that um, you should look into. Particularly, we'll probably do one on guns, but for today it's more about that kind of firearms, stamina, and science electronics um, score. Because I think, you know, I think again, this is an MMO, a lot of you will get this. I know I'm probably talking the obvious to a lot of you, but I really do just want to make sure that people understand that. So one of the things we found is when you're running around the dark zone as well is one of the key attributes that is of benefit to you is scavenging. Okay, I had um, I had a pretty like, let's say every tenth kill would give me a blue, every like thirty fortieth would give me a purple, and so on. So it's that kind of numbers. Now I, I had a I picked up a pair of gloves that basically had um, plus fifty percent scavenging. Okay, and I was like no way. So I put them on. Now I would say it's almost every third uh, dude I kill gives me a blue, and I'd say probably every 15, 16 gives me a purple. And that's it. That is literally what you should be doing. So you should be looking to use all of the stats to your advantage, okay? Now the scavenging one for me has been incredibly useful because it, you know, making money in the dark zone wasn't difficult, but it, I've got to admit it took time to uh, let me be clear on that. What I mean is by getting lots of loot that you can then sell for your credits to then re-roll. That's what I mean by money. I don't mean dark zone money. But effectively, by doing this, what this effectively gives you is uh, the ability to um, re-roll continually, basically, until you get the stat you want. So money is absolutely critical. So for me, the easiest way to get money is obviously do missions, obviously, but it's easier just to go and run through the dark zone, pick up eight items, or 30 items rather, extract as much as you can, can, fill your stash up, head back to the thing, then, then look at every single item that you get. It's almost as if that's the thing. You need to just get as much loot as you possibly can because what that will give you is um, is all of the things that you need um, to to basically you know supercharge your character and what you do. So here we go. I think this is one with a, an additional... I think I've now got that scavenging item on. So just watch maybe how many we get. And you can see already it's pretty cool. We're already starting to get quite a bit of loot. 
Now this goes also for the skills. So if you run something like a turret or if you run like the, uh, the support station or the uh, remote uh, seeker drones, then by also understanding how to reroll, but also just understanding what stats and benefits you can get from certain equipment, it's worth doing. So it, it's really subtle because I think it is completely you know, chance based. So for example, you could get a situation where um, you effectively have a, um, uh, you know, a, a, a kind of a module that looks crap. So it's a blue, it's maybe not very interesting. It's, it's certainly not as good, you know, it doesn't look anywhere near as good as your purple item that you've got. But if it's got like plus 500 health, or if it's got plus 300 damage to assault rifle, it's an obvious one that that is actually a lot better to get. So Hopefully that's clear. I think this has been the one thing that's opened up the game for me entirely. So post in the comments, tell me if you're doing this, tell me what your observations are. Maybe again, there's something I've missed, but this was just a revelation for me when I just sat there and started to go through the numbers. That actually, if I try to get my stamina as high as possible, currently I think I'm running at about 30 something thousand and it's, it takes a huge amount to take me down now. And as long as you can evade, it means that you're pretty much unstoppable in the dark zone because there's just, they're never gonna get that long shot at you to basically take you down. Hope this has been of use. We'll see you next time.